Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna talk through postpartum today, a little bit about what I experienced, but most importantly, my favorite products that I would really recommend you grabbing in preparation for postpartum, and also some tips that I never heard of that I would certainly give to another woman who's experiencing, who is about to experience her postpartum period. And then also um, some products that I heard about that. I didn't necessarily think you need, so you can hold off on getting those unless you really, really want. I'm gonna look down at my notes though because I did make notes so I don't go on too many tangents. It's so easy to go off on tangents on this kind of like pregnancy mom life stuff because there's so much to talk about. Mia is here relaxing with her little toys that I think will entertain her. She also just generally likes to listen to people speak, so I'm sure she'll be listening in. This is the postpartum for you, baby. Okay, so specifically, let's first talk about down there. That's like the number one thing that people care about. It's like, what goes on down there? Now for me, um, it wasn't, the recovery was a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. It was kind of like, I've been saying, it was like a crime scene for about three days. Like you have to expect you're gonna bleed a lot. It's gonna be sore. It's gonna like be tender. You know, it's, it's going to be pretty different for a couple of days. But for me, it wasn't that horrible. I actually didn't have much of an injury either. I only had one stitch. Look back at my labor and delivery story that would tell you why I only had one stitch. <coughs> Salud, baby. But it was kind of like a crime scene for three days, then more of like a heavy period, and then it really lightened up. Um, I was bleeding for basically six weeks, maybe five weeks. So I had somewhat of like a little light period for about six weeks. Um, but it tapers off over that time and then by the time you go back to the OB for your six week checkup, it should be pretty cleared out by then. Um, it was not bad, it was kind of like you move from big, big pads in those first few days to smaller pads, you know, like kind of like the overnight heavy ones to normal pads, because you're not allowed to use tampons by the way. And then you move to panty liners and what have you, but I had some blood coming out for about five weeks. TMI, but basically all this is TMI, so with products for down there. So across that time, it is helpful to have some stages. Now, as you prep, I would just say, think of it as three stages, like the heavy duty stuff, some pads and some panty liners. Get so, get those products in your house um, and even bring some to the hospital. Now these, I have one left so I can show you. I used the Depends, um, they're called Discreet. I will link them below. This is the one that I have left, but it's basically a large pad, like a huge pad, but you need it in the bottom. I'm glad I can be able to show you. So it's just a pad and then it, it's also your underwear. So I found this really comfortable and actually truly discreet. Um, the design I think is hokey, but um, it's actually very thin on the underwear, but it's soft and stretchy and really nice. I liked these a lot. Um, I actually wore them for almost two weeks, uh, which is maybe more than most people, but I would say just get one pack. I ended up going through two packs in two weeks, but um, you change these every time you go to the bathroom but they are super absorbent. I never ever leaked. And again, they are really comfortable. I even wore normal pants over these and it did not look like I was wearing a diaper. So highly recommend the discreet version if you're interested. Even if you only wear them during the days that you're at the hospital, these are so much more comfortable than wearing the um, hospital underwear or just giant underwear with these giant pads that have like st stickers on them. But this stays in place this did not leak for me and again super comfortable honestly i would say i miss them but i don't but this stretchiness was just so comfy cozy so that would be like uh out of the, like my top five favorite products for postpartum these are certainly one again i'll leak below the other thing i liked was this um earth mama herbal perineal spray it says take care down there i bought it on amazon again i will link it below for you if you want to check it out let's let it focus though 
there you go. I really liked this. Now it had kind of like a cooling sensation. At the hospital, they might provide you some witch hazel pads. They come on with these discs. I did not use those. I did not want to. I didn't want to leave them in my underwear and I also didn't want to dab down there. This is a mist spray and it just says spray as much as you want. So I basically use the bathroom. You kind of dab with toilet paper and then spray this on. It feels really, really cooling. I used it every time I went to the bathroom. It was just like a little bit of a relief, a little bit of freshness it feels really nice I wonder if you can use it even when you're not healing from something because honestly it feels so fresh and nice um, under products though I said no need to get the spray bottle so a lot of people on YouTube talk about this spray bottle because when you go to the bathroom you don't wipe uh, you use this like, spray bottle that sprays squirts water down there and then you just dab it dry So people on YouTube talk about this bottle. I think it's from the Frida Frida mom collection. I'm sure it's fine I didn't find any need for it. The bottle that they give you for free at the hospital worked fine for me I'm glad I didn't spend any money money on the spray bottle that has like a different nozzle I didn't find it necessary and then I made a note that you should also get some pads and some panty liners and have those ready uh, the only other thing that I would mention is I really liked wearing loose kind of like pajama pants. So I have a couple pajama pants from Gap that I have for my normal life. And I wore them um, dur definitely during the hospital the whole time because I didn't really want to just sit in the Johnny. I liked to wear my own kind of PJs comfy pants. So I'll link to Gap PJ pants below, below as well if you care. But you can also just bring any pajama pants. And then... Um, the only other note that I had for down there, the down there category, is my muscles were quite sore for a few weeks. I was surprised by that. I didn't really expect it, but it made sense once it was happening to me. We were going these small, short walks, and um, I couldn't really move my legs very far apart. Like I was taking very short strides because I was just really sore. It didn't hurt, but it just feels like, oh, I had a tough workout kind of soreness. Um, and that's it. So now, now I'm going to move on to food. So surprisingly in postpartum, I do have a couple tips for food. One is that I was very, very hungry. I think it's because I was breastfeeding and trying to ramp up that part of my body, but whatever it was for like the probably two or three weeks after delivery, I was much hungrier than usual. And you want to be eating, you know, healthy things because you want to make your body strong and also start breastfeeding if you choose to do that or if you're doing that so just side note you might be very hungry i said accept meals from friends and family so we had friends and family who were offering to send us meals come over and make meals we had um particularly our mothers were coming to make us dinner but had already also prepped something for the freezer just to thank them it's so so helpful you're going to be very busy with your newborn and then um the other tip I have for food, this is the last one, is uh, to have prepared or at least thought ahead of time some foods you can eat with one hand. So you're going to be, um, again, pretty busy doing different things, sleeping as much as you can. That I was finding I liked to have a snack while I was nursing or while I was doing something else. And so eat, being able to eat something with one hand was really helpful, specifically I will link to this. I like a recipe for um, gluten-free banana bread that I actually turn into muffins. And when you make them as muffins, if you look at the recipe, the bread actually takes a while to bake, but for the muffins, it's the same temperature, just cook it for 35 minutes. Okay, now, uh, I have a quick note on sleep and then just a general kind of life category to finish us off. So for sleep, a lot of people say you're never gonna sleep again. People say, oh, you won't sleep. Sleep deprivation is definitely a thing in postpartum, especially if we're talking about the following two weeks. Your baby is so small that the baby needs to eat throughout the night and even if you're not nursing, excuse me, someone has to wake up and feed that baby a bottle. So sleep def deprivation, was certainly a thing. You're also just tired because your brain is trying to do so much hard work and learn so many new things really quickly during the day that like the day is exhausting. But my tip is to think about it less like I'm not sleeping or I'm not sleeping through the night, I'm not getting a good night's sleep. Just think about it like I'm gonna live on naps for a while. And as soon as I thought that to myself, like I'm living on naps, 
it was actually kind of easy because I would sleep for maybe two hours here, three hours there, and then I would sneak in a half hour nap during the day. And it's just like, you live on naps. So if the idea of I'm not sleeping through the night starts to wear on you, just think, I'm living on naps. I'm just living on naps and it does get better. I plan to maybe make a video about our sleep schedule because Mia at about six, week, six weeks old started sleeping through the night. And as an example, last night she's now nine weeks old. She slept from 9.20 p.m. to 6.40 a.m. straight. So we have a good sleep schedule going. Let me know if you want a video about that. I'm thinking we should because it's been working so well, our little routine, um, that I might as well share. Last section here for postpartum is, I just said life. Now, <laughs> I wanted to just let you know that this part of your life will be all consuming. Let your baby be your one and only priority during this time. You do not have to have the house clean all the time. You do not have to be done up with any sort of makeup or hair, you should just shower if you want to, brush those teeth, and beyond that, just take care of your baby. If you're able to have help with food for you, that's the number one thing I would ask that you try to get help with, even if it's your spouse. My husband has taken over all dinners. Like we can kind of fend for ourselves for breakfast. You know, I usually just make a quick oatmeal or cereal or something. And then lunch, you piece together stuff in the fridge, right? Like I usually throw together a sandwich. Um, again, you'll have your snacks prepped, the ones that you can eat with one hand, and then dinner is the hardest thing. Dinner, make sure that you're getting a nutritious dinner that you're excited about and that someone hopefully is doing for you, whether that's takeout or your spouse or a friend or someone in your family. Dinners are really helpful because this is going to be all consuming. Just give yourself the permission to focus on baby for a while. Think about your maternity leave. If you have some um, as just a gift and that baby is number one, particularly in the first month, I would say. For me, in my experience, the first month was a turning point because I felt like I kind of was getting my rhythm. Come six weeks, she was really evolving and changing and growing. That was another milestone for us. And now here we are at nine weeks. I believe, yeah, nine weeks. And it's another level of confidence. So just it's all consuming postpartum, but you can do it. Just focus on baby and make sure that you are showered, teeth brushed, and you're fed. Beyond that, focus on baby. Um, okay, a couple other things for life. There's a product that I actually don't have a sample of right now. I just used the last one like a couple days ago, so I don't have it, but I'll put it in the links below. There are these shower sheets. So speaking of making sure that you're showered, I always felt it very rejuvenating to make sure that I felt clean and fresh in my body. And so these shower sheets were super helpful. They're basically just moist towelettes that have a little bit of product on them. The ones I use are quite natural, but the idea is that you can just rip open the package, take out the towelette, and wipe yourself down a little bit. I used this a couple evenings when I didn't really want to shower at night because I was so tired, but baby had spit up on my chest earlier, or I just felt like I wanted a little refresh, you know? You shouldn't be using them down there, but I would sometimes just do my torso. I would just do like a quick rub and rinse before putting my pajamas on, and it's almost like a mini shower. Or I would do my neck area, just a quick rinse super nice to have on hand. I really whipped through a whole bunch of them and I actually brought a couple to the hospital as well. I ended up not using them at the hospital in my hospital bag um, because I would just hop in the shower and take a full shower and indulge in a real shower while I was there, but good to have on hand. Um, two other things. Um, for life, I would encourage you also have a few outfits or particularly tops if you're breastfeeding that you like. I'm gonna link to a couple uh, below, but specifically brands, H&M has a good nursing line. So if you go, on, it's only online I believe, but if you go online, H&M nursing tops, they're really inexpensive. Some of them are really cute. I have like four of them and that seems to be enough. Um, ASOS also has nursing outfits. ASOS sometimes says maternity and nursing. I bought a lot of the stuff and only used it for nursing because um, by then I had already had a full wardrobe of mat uh, maternity clothing. So anyway, it's a really nice tip to have 
some postpartum outfits that you are gonna look forward to wearing that are kind of cute but really comfortable and ideally easy for nursing. Just grab a couple, whether it's three shirts. I think I have maybe eight or so nursing tops. Again, I'll link a few of them below. Um, particularly a sweatshirt that I really like um, that's on Amazon, super cheap. And then a long sleeve shirt because it's winter here. But it's really light. You could probably wear it in the summer. Um, it makes nursing easier. It makes you feel more comfortable. Um, and it's just, again, a little bit of extra care for you and your body in this postpartum period. The last note I have is under the life category is just to mention that I really enjoyed new moms groups. Um, I went to one that was mentioned by my OB, my obstetrician here in Boston had a list of nearby new moms groups. And I went when Mia was just three weeks old. You can bring your baby with you. Ours is an hour and a half long and you just show up you can come late. If you're late, it's fine. If you need to leave early, it's fine. Pe people are breastfeeding left and right. I was doing that. <laughs> so it's really welcoming to you and your newborn, but it's a moment to hear other people's stories and realize that you're not in this alone. It is my number one postpartum thing is just to make sure you're trying to get involved in some sort of community or some sort of um, group, whether it's digital or in person. I liked in person. Um, so that you don't feel like you're alone or that your struggles aren't crazy and your thoughts aren't crazy. You're doing a great job. I'll leave it at that. Post questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you either there or in a follow-up video and wishing you so well. You can do this. Um, I'm thinking about you. I'm sending lots and lots of love to you. I just went through this myself and with some patience and the right products, you can do anything. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.